that, that's not Ant-Man. It's Ant-Man? How do you put Pac-Man and Ant-Man together? Wow, you piece of crap. <laughs> Pac-Man. Man. <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> Dude, I, I feel like I was just interrogated by the police. <laughs> like, I don't know where I was! Hello everybody, welcome to the new episode of The Movie Movie Game. Except there's a twist. This is the video game, movie game. This is kind of my uh, my wheelhouse, so let's dive right in, Joe. And we have a very special guest by the name of Atricia Hirschberger. Kratos almost starts a nuclear war with the Soviet Union after accidentally hacking into a military supercomputer while searching for sweet new video games. It's like, what? Uh, honestly? <laughs> like, what did you like, even say? Honestly, it's like, I didn't understand a word. Like, Whoa, no, no, no. Pass. See, this could honestly be French or it like sounds tech, like tech jib or Greek. something. God of War, Crimes. Mm. Ooh, so or close. so close. It could honestly sound like Jib. He speaks Jib. I'm not trying to be racist. It sounds, it like, sounds like Jib. <laughs> God of War games. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Steve, what's Kratos? Well, you God know, of War. We did a stream. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, it's God of War, right? Okay. okay. God of War games. She got it. Yay! <laughs> if I'm playing Monopoly, it's a board. Mmm, God, God of War game. game. Yeah! They didn't go, I, I will say they didn't go nerdy enough with these movies, no. I feel like. Yeah. Kratos is a Greek. Uh, God of War. God of War? Games. Oh, God of War, God games. Of War games. That's not, no one needed that. I didn't need that. <laughs> that's, that's not, that I really don't have much of a choice, you know, the word only goes into so many. Yes. I didn't know until that happened that Joe made these up. Kudos to Joe! A peculiar book whisks you away to a secluded island where you must solve puzzles by traveling to different ages via magic books in order to free Atrus and escape the island before Skynet and the T-1000 murder John Connor. <laughs> whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh... Terminator 2. Dude, what's the rest of that title? I don't know. What's the rest of the ter uh, Terminator. Yeah. Which one? Two. What's the full title? The Rise of the Machines. <laughs> Terminator oh, 2 Judgment, Judgment Day. Day. And you'll never get the first one. Oh, oh. Uh, this one's real tough. I don't like it. <laughs> Miss Terminator 2 Judgment Day? <laughs> Did you see that Trisha has like a mist book that yeah. when you open it, it has a screen on it and you can play mist? That's so cool. A, a peculiar book whisks you away to a secluded island where you must solve puzzles by traveling to different ages via magic books in order to free actress. It's amazing! Yes! Oh my god. I can't believe it. This is so cool. It's so cool. Is it the full game on there? I'm no. still. Just the opening. I'm enthralled. Oh. I'm this enthralled, is right? Amazing. Miss Terminator 2 Judgment Day Sarah Connor Chronicle. <laughs> <laughs> that one should not be allowed. <laughs> you should not be able to do a thing where you're not really combining the yeah. words so much as you are putting them. Up next, uh, uh, next week is Mrs. Terminator. Yeah, too. that one like, sucks. That one sucks. That's, Trisha's a guest, that's and she's going to love that one. Now, yeah. How often do you open it up just to oh listen to Oh my god, so much, because it's the best. Yeah, yeah. Like, like when you're having a great. bad day, just... I love it. I love that that's all it is. <laughs> that is a, I it's think it's all it needs rad, to be. Man. But that's what it looks like yeah. in the game. It's it looks exactly. exactly like that. Now, Pac-Man man. <laughs> Pac-Man is mean. Is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, so it's just Miss Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. But which well, one? Well, Miss Terminator what? I just yeah. call it T2. Yeah, everyone calls it T2. Miss T2. <laughs> Miss T2. Terminator 2. Blank, blank. Judgment. Day. Day. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no one needs to know.
Hi everybody, welcome to your show. Uh, this <laughs> Keep that. Can we keep it? <laughs> is mine on? I like to save I batteries. Know who the professional is here. I'm trying to save. You guys know I care about nothing more than batteries <laughs> and saving power. <laughs> hey, well, uh, your show, Valley <laughs> Folk, um, brought to you by patreon.com slash Valley Folk. Join the madness. Head on over there right now. Uh, you can give us prompts. In exchange, you get behind the scenes footage from our upcoming show, Bring the Funny on NBC. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, and your support as we enter into this summer of madness. We're very excited about it. And uh, yeah, we go through things as mixes sketch and improv and all this fun stuff, and we answer your questions, give you advice, and take your prompts and make all sorts of things out. So here we go. Um, Joe, why don't you read Andre's uh, there? Be free. Hi, Valley folk. I think we all can agree it was hilarious when Elliot had to act as physical as Joe, so I dare him to act like Lee or Steve, his choice for the rest of the episode. I choose Steve. Cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing about Steve is, is that he loves to harmonize. Yeah, so why don't you just kick that yeah, in there? Yeah, do some harmonies. Just... I'm the one who wants to be you. I'll jump in too. Deep inside I hope you feel it too. Wait, just me and Steve. Just to be the one Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You guys are all gonna sing, and you're gonna make it look like I don't know how to sing, and then everyone's gonna go, oh, they can't sing, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was good. That was good. That's so much water. <laughs> a lot of water. That is a bad. Guys, Lou Drake says, what's the uh, weirdest grocery slash Walmart experience? One time I had a man argue over the phone with me, I work there, that we sold live hedgehogs. <laughs> Turns out he saw an art poster online God, and thought it was that. the real deal. Oh man, I love that so much. I, I got one. I, I've told it before and I don't really remember exactly how it went, but basically the gist of it was I was in a fries which is a place where they sell like electronics. It's and like electronics Walmart. Yeah, yes. electronics Walmart, exactly. And I was in the movie section, like picking up some Blu-rays or something. And this guy comes into the aisle. He's like holding a couple of things. And then he, he just like, we lock eyes in the aisle. He comes right up to me. We lock eyes and then he, he just says to me, basket. And then he turns around and leaves. Like he looked me right in the eyes and said, basket. Like he didn't, and it wasn't like asking me if I had a basket or where are the baskets. And it didn't look like he was carrying he a lot of stuff. He wasn't pointing at a basket. No, he wasn't pointing at a basket. Was it like he, he was from the future? The he just basket. looked in my eyes and said, basket. Had he not done that, your life would be different. Now yeah. Because yeah. you wouldn't be telling that. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm very thankful for it. Uh, it's a very interesting question because it's so specific. Mm -hmm. I mean, any store is fine, and there's got to be weird experiences, especially if you've ever worked in any yeah. of these places. I've it's probably like, told stories. I'm just yeah. like, my brain's dying. I don't know. There just Thank must you. not have been not a fired. moment that was really worth telling because I, I feel like the moments you. you remember, though, are the ones that are like memorable. There just must not have been not a moment that was really worth telling. Because I, I feel like the moments you remember, though, are, are the, the ones, ones that are, are like memorable. memorable. Do you remember, oh, Joe? I... Not a weird thing. It's when we went to, uh, we walked out of uh, uh, Crawford's, formerly Sardo's, and we saw the janitor from Yes, that's a good story. Scrubs. It's an okay story. Well, he was in the parking lot he of a grocery, of a grocery store, store on our way into the grocery store, and he was loading his groceries into his Toyota Corolla. Like, but like, Early, Early 2000s? 2000s Toyota Corolla? Uh, yeah, and he's also on the show The Middle, which is a great sitcom. A great I think it's sitcom. still going it's like on. I love it. With Malcolm, the whole time. deal. Yeah. As a lead, yeah. and that. has been um, a working actor for yeah, Brian Cranston's real good in it. You're not the it's the new Breaking Bad. Anyway, we went in, Joe and I went in, and we had a wine tasting That's together. Correct. We did a wine tasting and we just kind of... I fucking 
It was me and Joe. We stood in this little tiny roped off yeah, aisle and then one story. other random dude squeezed in. I love and and you was, had to be behind, by the way, you had to be behind very the roped off area. But the roped off area was literally it was so this small. Big. God, I love it. And you had to be you just, like, in it. Tight it was like in shoulder to, to shoulder. Why? Because like, they're twenty one and over. Like, uh, yeah. like very legal. And this stuff. very yeah. nice lady thing. gave us thimbles full oh, God, of four wine. different wines, and we loved. We it. did cheers. We had a good How time. We made friends that? with was that, that stranger. It? No, I mean, it was free. Oh, it was free. It was free. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it was very it fun. Like he time. loved it. It was so fun. One time in oh, Walmart, I saw I a little kid <laughs> reaching to the fish tanks, all the fish tanks, yeah. and he grabbed it and he just put it in his pocket. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty good. Dude, that kid is gonna just go play. Yeah, he literally was yeah. just like. That's a that's a murderer. To, that's a, <laughs> okay, I'll put hey. you in a fish bowl later. Guys, we I got know. there. Hang on, we now. got there. I'm the one who wants uh, to. Okay. <laughs> Deep inside this, where you're gonna come in. I hope you just All right, this is bullshit. Uh, Ellie can I, sing. I know he can. Listen. It's like dinner. You know what I wanted? Ding -ding. I wanted them to consider Scoot bringing Riddler points. back for Nolan's universe. Yeah. And just saying fuck it and letting Jim Carrey do a Nolan version of the Riddler. I honestly, dude, that would be big news. You've heard those stories about how Tommy Lee Jones hated Jim Carrey. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best <laughs> ever, dude. I love that because it it really just makes so so much so sense. Because yeah. you could just see Tommy Lee Jones being like, "This mother <laughs> won't shut the <laughs> up while we're," and he keeps <laughs> up takes and thinks yeah, it's up. funny. Here, and this is gonna be worth it. Oh. Lee, 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 Lee. After a hundred year slumber, Hyrule's destined warrior awakens to a bout of amnesia and a new threat in the form of Calamity Ganon. In order to vanquish evil, our hero must release the four divine beasts, which resemble a camel, an elephant, a salamander, and Kevin Bacon's penis. What? What is Kevin Bacon's penis in? So many things. I know, that's what I'm saying! It's like a 60 degrees of Kevin Bacon's penis! That uh, was too long for me to even know Kevin Bacon's penis? Uh -huh. That's the all? Uh-huh. Um, was Kevin Bacon's penis in Wild Things? Uh-huh. Yeah, the Zelda and the, uh, it would be a link to the past. I don't know, I know I know Ocarina of Time. I know like the Princess's Whisper. I know a, a cactus in the sky. Breath of the Wild Wind. Breath of the Wind. <laughs> the Wild Wind. It's, one of, it's got 10 out of 10 by IGN. Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Things? Yeah! Oh totally guessed on that Wild Things was I... the name of that movie. I was like, it's Wild Something? <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild Things? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What is so... the air called that comes in and out of my body? Breath? Of the Wild? Wild Things? Yeah, Breath of the Wild Things. There it is, baby. The Zelda story. That's so sad. Breath of the Wild Things? Yay! <laughs> when Elliot finally plays it one day, he probably won't shut up about it. I'm going to have a great time. Oh, yeah. it's so yeah, eventually play it. Yes. Lee! 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 Are you in the bathroom? Oh, Lee! Lee! Lee, uh, what was, tell Steve the story of, that you read about how much Tommy Lee Jones hates. The end is the beginning uh, is the end. What? Lee, tell Steve about how much Tommy Lee Jones hated Jim Carrey. What was that story? Oh, now I forget the specifics, but apparently he didn't like them. And I just had pizza, so sorry. Um, they were out like at a dinner. That's and, what that was. And Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's the pizza. My eyes are watering because you had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Steal cars, sleep with prostitutes, run errands for crime bosses, and avoid that five-star police chase in this open-world James Bond movie starring Terry Hatcher. Grand Theft Auto. Morrow never dies. We got it! Wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Tomorrow. Never die! Yay! There we go! Grand Theft Auto. Tomorrow never die. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Tomorrow never dies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Billy and Jimmy Lee hit the streets to beat the crap out of rival gangs and steal 50 cars in one night to save their little brother. What? No. I don't know that one. I don't think I'm going to get this, Joe. I don't know what movie that is. Hold on, wait. The 90s and there's two and there's gangs. This is going to be one of those things, man. When you tell me, I'm not going to be happy. All right. All Daenerys right. started with three dragons. Yeah. And then the Night King she, she, killed one. Yeah. She would have... Right. Street Fighter 2? Street. She would have two Fighter. dragons. Does, he didn't like the Street Fighter. Is the first one double dragon? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Double drag gone in 60 seconds. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! Okay. Another word for two. Double? Yeah. Double gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> That's it. She got it. Uh, double drag I mean, it feels like you're just trudging me through it, yeah, you know? Drag gone in 60 seconds? Yes! <laughs> And I take my leave. <laughs> if you had two dragons, you might say you have... Double dragon. <laughs> like, at least I know Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie, because that was a very sensual movie. I think we can all agree on this, uh, correct? I thought she yeah. was very, very uh, The game is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> Double dragon. <laughs> Double dragon and six. <laughs> I can totally imagine that. Jim Carrey's probably annoying like, as f yeah, when he's making I think he movies. was like, you're super annoying. He was like, you're ham and whatever. And yeah. Like, a buffoon? Really short. Buffoon, yes. I mean, to be fair, Jim Carrey is a buffoon. <clears throat> the situation came to a head in the middle of production before the two had their biggest scene together on the Joel Schumacher film when Carrey randomly popped Schumacher into the film. same of restaurant that Jones was having dinner. The maitre d' said, oh, I hear you're working with Tommy Lee Jones. He's over in the corner having dinner. This is from Jim Carrey's oh, point of view. Man. I went over and I said, hey, Tommy, how are you doing? And the blood just drained from his face, Carrey said, and he got up shaking. And he went to hug me and he said, I hate you. I really don't like you. And I said, what's the problem? And pulled up a chair, which probably wasn't smart. And he said, I cannot sanction your buffoonery. <laughs> I cannot sanction I cannot your buffoonery. Say, I, and I mean this in the nicest way. I cannot sanction your buffoonery. Uh, I, I mean, if someone told me that, I'd be like, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Welcome to the project, everybody. This is Elliot, where he just attempts to learn how to sing. And it's the <laughs> greatest hurdle of his life. I'll learn Swedish. Let's do it. Uh, that's a great idea. Uh, okay, Ashley Michelle says, uh, I, I relate to this a lot. So she says, so today I was discussing with my coworkers the, quote, nervous gas. You know, when you have a big event yes. or you just might have some butterflies in your stomach and then all of a sudden you've got nervous flatulence. Yes. If any one of you have ever experienced this, when and where is the most embarrassing place you've had scared oh, yeah. to? Behind stage and bring the funny. There's did really a, I... nothing embarrassing about any of it, though. Like, I, have, I don't have embarrassing fart stories because all my fart stories are like, it just happens get over let's all get yeah, over because you don't really care that much uh, yeah i just don't behind care behind stage at bring the funny it did happen i always get nervous farts that's the truth about like real usually about live performance so i, I do like shows and stuff at groundlings i always get nervous farts behind stage at bring the funny there was like a one little crack to the outside there was like a stage door huge thing one little crack so i just made sure you just to, to like sneak, them out? sneak my butt out that way and then someone came by and literally was like, oh my god, who ripped it here? And I was like, yeah, who ripped it here? <laughs> like, holy, like, oh, wow. Yeah, I um, I don't get nervous gas. I get nervous shit in my pants. And uh, before every big improv show or live show, I I, I super don't, um, is what I call it. I don't, it's Kevin's, fine. Can it's I show clean. you Kevin's face real quick after you said the I word super, super dump? Say it again. But after big improv shows or live shows, I have to uh, super dump. <laughs> 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 Is that like your superhero? 
Yeah. Oh my ah, God. Super dumb. Super, super dumb. dumb. Super dumb. Nasty. He just wow, raps while sh. So. <laughs> Throw um, poop at people or hurts them. I can. That's fight. a horrible superpower. It is horrible. I, I wasn't. I didn't ask for it. I was chosen. Yeah, but like nobody wants to have poop thrown at them. So I'm the perfect guy for the job. No, I actually no, no, will no, stop no, no. people before they even try Honestly, to commit the crime. Hey, you know who you can help us the most. Uh, we need someone to watch the house when we're gone. And throw um, poop at people who break in? No, absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, feed the dog, maybe. Sure, I'll watch I the just, house. You guys don't mind. If anything comes security. up, I'll... No, 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 so no. I'll watch the house, but is it cool if I install my target that I throw poop at? Absolutely. It's maybe. in the back of the truck. Look, if absolutely. I'm not throwing <laughs> it, if I'm not throwing it, it's just accumulating, and then that's a different problem. Yeah, I gotta throw it. Uh, in regard to this nervous flatulence thing, that I think is an absolute... Thank you so much for bringing it up, because I want to talk about it all the time. Every time I get it, I'm like, Am I alone? And so thank you. Um, and I will say that there have been times, as a positive spin on this, where through the nervous flatulence, I have actually realized I'm nervous retroactively because sometimes I'll just be in denial and I'll be like, no, I'm totally fine. I'm not oh, nervous about this. Nice. It's totally fine. And then I'm like, but why am I farting constantly? And I'm like, oh, I must be nervous. And then I think about like, oh, I am nervous. And sometimes it helps and it makes me not fart as much or it, you know, helps me actually do a better job because uh, I think nervousness is typically well, probably a good thing. And uh, yeah, so I, pro I think nervous... Uh... <laughs> Can I ask you guys, did you ever like get nervous make out farts? No. No. Oh yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, how you doing, girl? I'm doing really good. I'm excited about this because I don't n know any of it. <laughs> I am a gamer, sure. But if we're talking about like Monopoly Deal, Monopoly, board games, I'm a gamer. Backgammon, I'm a gamer. <laughs> I am not a video gamer. Wow, how many more of these do I have? I know. I'm losing. Keep going. <laughs> Vampire Hunter and his trusty whip unite with fellow super people to undo the snappy antics of the big purple meanie. That's like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did this one about half an hour ago and I've already forgotten. <laughs> what did night, what, what did kings and queens live in? Well, they live in the castles, Joe. Mm -hmm. They need to look all over their people. Yeah. Uh, so, end game? Um, well, there's a it? word before end game in that movie title. What? I don't know the first Marvel! <laughs> Say Marvel! <laughs> Castlevania Avengers end game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Castlevania Avengers. Oh, which one? Castlevania Avengers Endgame. Yay! <laughs> uh, what do you call somebody that like is really in love with themselves? Ooh, a narcissist. A uh, simpler word. Ooh, dick. <laughs> Castle Dickia <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Uh, Castlevania, right? Yeah. 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 And what was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it event something so, event? It goes in the Castlevania. I would have never gotten that. No one would understand that. I am a gamer, sure, but Castlevania and Jersey and game. <laughs> Nailed it. Castlevania and game. Castlevania Avenger, Vania Avengers. I'm not a psycho. <laughs> Your favorite plumber gathers his friends and enemies together for a game night that swiftly sees them joining forces with a band of marionettes to take down the evil Kim Jong-il. <laughs> Is that that Seth Rogen movie? No. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what is the, I don't know the plumber one. Oh, you do. I, one of the most famous video games. Mario Party. Uh, um, the World Police thing. Is that what it is? Yeah, and then, so what was the first one? What's the, what's the video Your game? favorite plumber. Yeah, super. Mm, mm. His friends and enemies together. Oh, right, 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 right. The, the, uh, Mario Party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Party. Mario Party. Mario, hold on, and then it was, hold on, then it was, no, I don't know, it. hold on, and then it was Mario Party. Party. Black. Team America. Yeah! Was that it? Team uh -huh. America. What's the full title? What's the first part of World Police? <sighs> team, team, yeah, yeah, something like that. So close. T, T. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, guys. you have it. Yeah, you it's team, be. team, yeah. it's not, is it team? Yeah. Team World Police? Team. Team Helicopter. Team. Two words. <laughs> Mario Party Team America World Police. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Damn, that's good. Good job. Yeah, oh, uh, Mario Party Team America World Police. Yeah, she Yay! got it, everybody. I knew she got it. A little bit of a stress. <laughs> Team America World. Yes! What's another name for cop? Police. Yeah! yeah! Is that what it was? It was called Team America World Police? <laughs> yeah! Team America World Police. Yeah, say it all together. Mario Party Team America yeah. World Police. Yeah! <laughs> Where are we living right now? <laughs> this is my where are we living oh, right now. Oh, Team America, or Team... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Team America <laughs> World Police. So put it all together. <laughs> we killed him. You've actually killed him. Uh, yeah, yeah. What was the first thing that we were talking... Yeah, okay, so that's the uh, Mario Par Team America World Police. Yeah! I'm gonna go home. You're so close. <laughs> I know, I was like, I need to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs>I guess if I'm gonna say a thing that I wanted to try is a spray tan. Nice. I wanted to try it, but I feel what? like I'll look weird. Were we asked something where we wanted to try? I think she just answered a different <laughs> question. <laughs> 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 what the? F I, I think it's a did great I just, question. Did I just <laughs> traveled through where time. You bet. I think you could <laughs> answer. Just I'll happened. Answer. Yeah. I, yeah. I think peanut butter and jelly is my favorite sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to say it. I think we should start doing that. Just what a prompt. You want to talk about? All right. I think if I was going to try something new, I've always wanted to try a spray tan. Cool, dog. This is this is definitely one of my favorite prompts that we've ever gotten before, and I think that you guys are going to have a difficult time answering this. Oh. This is from Damien Messner. Would you rather? I love would you rather. Gain. Love them. These. This is the hardest one we've ever had to do. Would you rather gain the ability to fly, or? or have your mother shot too many times. <laughs> oh my, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, all of us are gonna say gain the ability to fly, right? Read it, read the Would question. Would you rather gain the ability to fly or have your mother shot too many times? <laughs> and that's a like. That's a wow, like. what the f That might be a Hall of Fame one yeah. in terms of like, <laughs> Y'all just doing our job. Well, let's for do it. the pros and cons. Yeah, let's do the pros so and cons. So flying would be incredible. <laughs> It'd be amazing, I mean, but here's the thing. There'd be a sense incredible. of freedom associated oh with can it. Can I tell you right anywhere. now? You could no, no, go no. anywhere. You could save a lot this. of money. Save lives too. Yeah. I have seen so but, many different things, but because but if you're if you're the one person on this planet that can fly, you're immediately going to be government target. government held you're a target. target. Yeah, you are. Your life is hell. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be cons to think about. But if your mom is shot too many times, government don't give a damn. Yeah, it's really only on you and your family. Well, it yeah. might make national news, so Can there's I... going to be some unwanted attention. Yeah, Depends on how many shot times. Too, too many, many times. times. How, how many <laughs> times is too many? Ready? Bang, 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 That's too many I times. There. I think That's already right. too many times. Imagine explaining. Bang, bang, like, no, too many times. you got to stop. She's bang, gone. Bang, She's bang, gone. Bang, uh, and, uh, bang, bang, yes, Police Chief Jenkins here in Los Angeles PD. A, the doctors have said that she's just been shot too many times. <laughs> Imagine being the guy that's just sitting there in the aftermath of his mother getting shot too many times and him just sitting there going, if only I could have had the ability to fly so I could have taken it. <laughs> <laughs> or just like, man, like your mother gets shot too many times and the first thought is, damn, I should have chosen to fly. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do our rehearsed outro. You ready? Yeah. All one, right. Two, two, three. And, and thanks for watching your show. It's the best show on the internet. And thanks for watching your show. We're here for you every week. -ish. And the Valley Folk love our patrons. Just go to patreon.com. 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 Really? She was shot too many times? <laughs> And you just lit it up.
you son, get those brain wheels a grinding. <laughs> get those brain wheels a grinding. Like my truck and my tractor. Get those brain wheels a grinding. Don't get out there in the reactor. <laughs> Don't get out there in the reactor. <laughs> Don't get reactor, out there Tennessee. in the reactor. Don't get reactor out there. Tennessee, everyone knows where reactor yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Don't get out there in reactor. <laughs> Would you rather? 